Welcome to the ACLU luncheon here. Um, how does it feel that 30 years later that, um, that you're still talking about this subject? I feel like this is victorious because they wanted to sweep us under the rug. They wanted to bury us. And as we've seen on social media feeds, people always say that they forgot that we were seeds. So the fact that we can now use this platform as a means to shed light on not just our case, but also other cases just like it, is tremendous. Now, are you, are, are you actually proud of the changes or disappointed that there's not enough changes after all these decades? I feel like there's um, a need for more change. I feel like the system is in many ways moving and operating in the way that it was designed and egregious um, acts of, of uh, injustices like our case are not magnified enough. And so folks didn't remember this. A lot of times I'll go to schools and I'll speak, I'm a motivational speaker, and sometimes folks think, oh, the Central Park Five, you guys are a music group, but what is this, you know? 30 years ago, this case happened. 30 years ago, here we are now still standing as survivors, as heroes of the story. And real fast, for, the, for those people, do you believe that um, they should be forgiven for what they did to you? I think that forgiveness comes with apologies. And I think that as people apologize, we accept that. You know, with, when, we won, when we won our lawsuit, there was no admission of, of, of guilt on the city's part, on anyone's part. You know, we get a lot of apologies from the public, and we, we, we appreciate that and receive that very well. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.